Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikToks that will make you question everything. One drink that leaches the magnesium and the calcium out of the body, and that is caffeine. Now, there was a bit of a groan last night when I mentioned this one. <laughs> and Shit. Most people don't realize that that coffee is a huge contributing factor to dehydration, to heart malfunction, and also to imbalance in heartbeats. So there are some things that have to stop if you want to keep the heart with all diligent, and one of them is caffeine because of the way it leaches the magnesium out of the body. And as you can see by what I just described, magnesium is so important. Anyone that comes to me with high blood pressure, we do quite a few changes, but we always supplement with magnesium because it keeps that heart muscle at rest. You see your systolic is your high point and your diastolic is your bottom one. It relaxes that di diastolic and brings it down a little bit. And the caltic salt can do that. But how often are people with high blood pressure told to what? No salt. When everyone at work is going out to get their coffee or their cigarette to get a boost, you just get your crystal of Celtic salt, put it on your tongue, have a glass of water, and you watch that little energy boost that you will get. And you won't get the drop like they will all get. They might get initial rise, but then there's always a corresponding drop. And yo, yo, they came at me out the gate with this one. Listen, I drink coffee, like faithfully, every morning, and... You know what? I think it's an addiction at this point because most of the time I'll be awake, right? I don't even feel like I need the coffee. And then I'll just go ahead and go to my French press and start making me some coffee just because I'm addicted, man. And I think it does dehydrate you a lot. Sometimes if I drink too much coffee, you know, my armpits will start sweating or something like that. And it's like, what the heck is going on here? You know, and she says it depletes you of magnesium. Honestly, I didn't start going bald, bald like that until I started drinking a lot of coffee, a lot of pre-workouts, a lot of Red Bulls, things like that, just to stay awake because I had started working as an adult. Man, I guess I got to break the coffee, y'all, and get some of that Celtic salt. If anybody knows where I can find some Celtic salt, leave me a comment down below. Them Simpsons, man. what the world coming to. Man, it's got pulled over for me. <laughs> Listen, man, this is going to be crazy. I talked about this a while ago, right? On either my Facebook or I don't know where I posted it, but I said spatial reality is going to be the future. And this is back when Microsoft had uh, announced their spatial reality things. And uh, we were talking about how you know, you can walk down the street and a person might be selling something, right, virtually, say a, a ebook or something, right? So if they're selling that ebook, they'll be able to walk down the street and have that ebook right there on their shoulder. If you've got those goggles on, right, those Apple goggles or whatever they're called, Apple Vision, and you're walking down the street and you walk past this person, they're going to have that ebook right there on their shoulder. You click on the ebook, boop, boop, two taps. Now you got that ebook downloaded into your library and they got $9.99 in their bank account. And they didn't even know they made a sale. That's what the world's coming to, y'all. this spatial reality future that we headed to and you know what's crazy about that this just came to mind back when this uh this episode came out i forgot what year it was it was some years ago apple filed a patent for their apple vision pro the day the episode came out come on man come on man these must be in cahoots with each other Christopher Walken plays this kind of retired con man 
who uh, has managed to find a way of living on less than five bucks a day, five dollars a day. And uh, that's something I think we'd all like to do. But he knows how to get everything for free, how uh, to, to never have to spend any money. Um, he, uh, he knows uh, what time hotels put out uh, courtesy coffee in Danish, so he will arrive at the hotel at 11 o'clock when they just put out the coffee and grab himself a free coffee. So this is a film we can learn from. I think it is. I think it's good. In these troubled times, in the times when houses are being repossessed and uh, everyone's pocketbook is tight, I think you could learn a lot from this movie. And also laugh and cry at the same time. Excellent. Um, so why would you guys choose this IHOP? I knew it was the reason I didn't like to eat at IHOP, y'all. I'll never talk to a doctor about my general health ever again. If I break my arm, I'm going to go see a right. doctor. If I need surgery, I'm going to go see a doctor. Yes, my sir. general health... Never again. None of them know what they're talking about. They're all full of shit. All they know is to put you on pills mm -hmm. and put you on medicine. That's all they know. None of these doctors know anything about human biology. Mm -hmm. Everything they've learned is about medicine. Right. Right? Getting you on medication. Yeah, man. Oh, this feels weird. Take, Take this. It. Hey, for real, they practice medicine. It's a practice, and they just practicing on us people. Medication. Oh, that doesn't feel right. Take this medication. Finally, you're on three, four different medications that have ten different side effects mm -hmm. and mess you up in ten different ways. And that's what I was feeling. Uh, I'm on no medication now. I'm you on, were on medication. I, yeah, I was on thyroid. I was on cholesterol, and I was on high blood pressure medicine. And now I'm on none of that. And my blood work has never been better. I've never felt better. And you know. My, I am not the same person I was a year and a half ago. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. Facts. Stay free, y'all. Uh, stay free. People are going to know why it failed. Trump and the MAGA Republicans. Do people not realize he can close the border right now? Blaming Republicans and Trump makes zero sense. They all want to close the border. There does not need to be a bill. He can do it right now. Do people believe this? He's saying to not let petty bipartisan politics get in the way, but in the same breath, he's blaming Republicans and Trump. So he recognizes the border is a problem, the world is watching, and he could do it right now. Life is vibration. So is mind, so is matter. Electricity or vibration is that same energy, same power, you can call it God. All forces vibration, as all comes from one central vibration taking different form, and as the electrical vibrations are given, know that life itself, to be sure, is the creative force or God, yet its manifestations in man are electrical or vibratory. Electricity is God in action. Seeing this, feeling this, knowing this, you will find that not only does the body become revivified, but by the creating in every atom of its being the knowledge of the activity of this creative force or principle as related to spirit, mind, body, all three are renewed. The Buddha said, anything that arises in the mind starts flowing as a sensation on the body. All matter in the universe vibrates at different frequencies, including every living being on Earth. The intensity and frequency of these vibrations are unique to each individual and can vary based on their experiences. We are attuned to our own vibrations, but they can be influenced by external or internal forces. Vibrations are a cohesive force in nature, as all force is vibration. Our bodies emit vibrations that control our mental and physical processes, which are collectively known as the aura. Each sensory organ in our body reflects a different vibration. According to the teachings of Ascended Master Saint Germain, raising one's vibration and frequency is the key to transforming any aspect of their life, including healing of any dis-ease, achieving abundance, and attaining transfiguration of the physical body into the ascended realm. He said, The food mm. that they think is the same is not the same anymore. You sure now, ain't. Everybody's for free choice. Whether we're liberal or whether we're conservative, we've all got that streak in us. But the fact is, you cannot have free choice unless you have an informed choice. And you can't have an informed choice if they're lying about what's on the label. What about Pam cooking spray? Everybody knows what Pam is. It's some kind of little healthy oil with compressed air that you spray it and it gets on your pan. It's not compressed air. That, you know, and they don't tell you, but it's butane and propane. People don't understand that they are spraying what? 
lighter fluid on their children's hotcakes. And it's, and it's fabulously. Hold on, I gotta go talk to my wife, right? Listen, what, who else cooks with ham or any of these non-stick sprays that they have out there, right? You know, I'm sure everyone has one of these in their household or if they don't right now, they had one or their mom or dad had one in their household, but that's crazy. This stuff got butane in it, lighter fluid. Success. But we're going to sue their pants off. Well, there's a specific place where hell is on earth. In the Bible, Jesus said one of my disciples named Antipas would die and be martyred, right? Uh -huh. Now, St. Antipas was martyred and he was killed in, you know, that, that torture bowl. Mm -hmm. So they put somebody in like a metal bowl and like boil them yeah, alive. Boil it, okay. Yeah. That happened in Geneva, Switzerland. People are saying Geneva, Switzerland like is the literal place of hell. It's literally the portal to hell or that's at least where the devil resides. Cause that's what it says in the Bible. Now check this out. Okay. Do you know what else is in Geneva, Switzerland? What? CERN. Oh, CERN no. headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland, oh, yeah. and the CERN logo is what? Six, yeah, is, six, yeah. six, fam. CERN is working on particle generation yeah. and messing with matter of the universe to tear our dimension with the supernatural and the natural, fam. Yeah. yeah. So, so what if theory? They're trying to open the, the portal to hell, bro. Krishna has seven holes in his flute. Jesus has seven seals on his scroll. Hermes has seven strings on his harp. Samson has seven locks on his beard. Noah is on an ark with seven other passengers. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives. Noah being the sun and his passengers being the seven colors of the rainbow, just like Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Goku must collect seven dragon balls to unlock Shenron, symbolizing the kundalini dragon that is risen once you've channeled up your energy mm. through the seven chakras. That is why Sonic the Hedgehog has to collect seven chaos emeralds. There are seven wonders of the world, but not really. The only reason why they say seven is because everything is seven, such as the number of holes in your face, two eyes, two nostrils, two ears, and a mouth. That's also why we say seventh heaven, because it's the highest ascension. We have seven luminaries, which are the seven planets that are visible to the naked eye. This is why we have seven days of the week. Sunday is sun. Monday is moon. Tuesday is Mars. Wednesday is Mercury. Thursday is Jupiter. Friday is Venus. And Saturday is Saturn. There are seven virtues and there are seven deadly sins. There are actually seven vowels, A, E, I, O, U, Y, and W, and not just the common five that we are told in school. The Ark of Noah is actually the bark of Ra. In Egypt, Ra would sail across the skies in his bark, which is the Egyptian word for boat. As Noah sails through the zodiacs, he actually experiences the seven months of grace from Aries to Libra. And that's why Noah's flood lasts 150 days. That's because the sun is going through the five months of winter. And only during the winter months from Scorpio to Pisces can we see the twins in the sky, such as the Gemini twins called Castor and Pollux. We can also see Canis Major and Canis Minor, aka the Big Dog and the Little Dog, as well as the Ursa Minor and the Ursa Major, aka the Big Bear and the Little Bear, also called the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. And last but not least, when the sun enters Capricorn on December 21st, when we look up, we cannot see Capricorn because it is blocked by the sun during the day. But at nighttime, we can see the opposite sign that the sun is in, which would be cancer. Therefore, when Jesus is born in the manger with two asses present, it is referring to the two stars in cancer, which is Acellus Borealis and Acellus Australis, aka the northern donkey and the southern donkey, which is another pair of twins that is seen during the winter months. You actually believe that Noah's flood lasted exactly five months, 150 days, and that he saved every single twin of every species of land animal that ever existed on the entire face of the earth? And yet you have the audacity to call me an extremist? That is ridiculous considering that you don't even know astrology and you have no credibility whatsoever. Your ignorance is stronger than your own diligence to seek true knowledge and liberate yourself as scripture says. John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Why do you think God asks Job in Job 38, 31, can you bind the chains of the Pleiades or loosen the cords of Orion? Can you lead forth the Masroth in their season or can you guide the bear with its children? Do you know the ordinances of the heavens? Masroth means zodiac in Hebrew. It was left untranslated in the Bible. So God expects us to learn the stars. 
Religion literally means to rely on an outside source. Just as you are calling me blasphemy to your religious sector, you are blasphemy to our spiritual, intelligent, and incredible ancestors who were also astrologers, aka astrologers, which means logging the astros. Plain and simple, divinity is simplicity. Pick up a freaking book. Holy shift, I'm on fire. Yo. Pick up a freaking book. Get your astrology game up there, man. Shout out to that number seven. I'm about to go travel to seven seas. What was that? Got silent. It's weird. Yeah. It's not even raining that hard. No. It's just wicked. <laughs> That's crazy. But what is that right there, though? Some CGI? What the heck? Y'all think that was real? I don't know. Last night I dreamed I was a bottle of ketchup and you a mustard. Which is weird, cause usually your manny's in my dreams. Why do you suppose that is? All I gotta Facts. get you to see, if I could just get you to see that 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 nigga, them mountains is tree stumps. If you can really see that, you the veil is broken, bro. Because from that point, you see everything. You see everything. Evidence of branches and leaves mm -hmm. laying next to a uh, huge stump. In fact, one of the leaves measured taller than the Empire State Building. That's I want to take leaf. you to the location now. And here we go. And the area that we are looking at is north central Madagascar. Right in this area here. There are more than one example of what looked like to me ancient tree stumps with quite possibly large branches and large leaves in some cases mm. laying next to some of these very huge structures hey now this is crazy right i know i got some anime heads up in here right for those of y'all who have watched attack on titan if you look at the map of uh, attack on titan and where it was placed at they're on a, they were on an island and that island basically was madagascar all right and that's where all the titans are, these huge giants, man-eating giants, apparently. I think they just did that for the anime. But here we are in Madagascar, and they're showing us huge, giant leaves from giant trees. I don't know. Something probably happened in Madagascar back in the day. This is one that I showed you guys yesterday. Measure this thing, and you can look at the side view, even. On Google Earth here, we'll go side to side. There's the stop. 4,000 foot on this side over here. Go across. A little taller on this side. At about 4,150 feet. It's over 8 miles wide. We look at the miles. 8.45 miles. We could set the entire city of Nashville and all of its suburbs right there quite comfortably. If you go to the left, which would be about the 10, 11 o'clock position, all over in this area, you'll find what look like leaves and branches all over the ground. Here's an example of one here. There's many, many, many examples. This one here we're going to measure real quick. And I'll show you just to kind of put things in perspective how long that thing is compared to something that's very tall. So we'll measure from top to bottom. We'll go in 
and feet, 1,596 feet. That one branch is taller than the Empire State Building. We showed in a video earlier, right there. I think it's the same exact branch that's on the ground. Taller than the Empire State Building. And there's others, there's many others. So if you look around, you'll also find many more examples of these leaves, like right here, big, huge branches. And when you really get to look at the mountain, you'll be like, oh shit, that should do like a tree that got cut down. Mm -hmm. And then you start scanning back, looking at the whole mountain range, you'll be like, oh fuck, that's the tree they cut it right there. That's disguised as mountains. Boy, that shit stand out clear as day when you notice that's the tree you're looking at. And then think about how tall the tree was. You're like, oh, shit. Hold on now. I'm looking for evidence about all oh, this shit Rashad Jamal be talking about how we fell in frequency and this was our planet and we was giants and we was blue, red, and green and you did blah, 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 bleed. Look at this big ass tree. This was a tree right here. And it's gone. First off, why they cut it? What the fuck they cut it with? And what they do with the, with the rest of the tree? That's where your mind Facts. gonna go. Literally, that's where my mind went watching them videos. I'm thinking, what did they use to cut these trees with? Where did the wood go? And why the fuck did they cut it? That's literally where... Wow, that's crazy. And then when you start looking at how spaced out they are from each other, and if they was that big, you could see the forest. Because see, if you look at it as a mountain, you'll see one mountain range right here. And then way in the backdrop, you'll see another, another mountain range. But let's look deeper. Imagine that mountain range you're looking at was a big-ass tree. So if it was a big-ass tree, once the, that, the branch is going to cover out far as fuck. A tall-ass tree, the branch is going to go damn to hold up the state, nigga. Right? So now that would make sense why the mountain ranges be so, so spaced out from each other. But if you think about how big the tree was, they really not that far from each other. You see what I'm saying? You got to think about like them. Okay, how tall was this tree? And that, even though that mountain range is 20 miles away, if this tree was that fucking tall and the branches went that far out, it wouldn't have been that far away from that mountain range that seems 20 miles away. Oh, so now I can see the forest. Now I can see the forest. This is the forest. Look at that mountain range. Look at that mountain range. Look how far that one is from that one. Look how far that one is from that one. Then you see a nigga, you can go state to state. You go state to state, you're like, oh shit, I see it now. I see it. Now that you know why, now you can see why we told you, we said, hey, it was so many trees on your planet at one time and the trees were so big that nigga literally you could walk up a tree and walk from California to Canada. Now, I you, believe now it. I want you to think about that. I believe the it. The trees I don't know about so big that a, a squirrel or you, because the trees were still bigger than us. We was big as fuck, though. But the trees were still bigger than us. You could, you or a squirrel, nigga, could walk up that tree and walk uh, just on the branches from California to Canada and never hit the ground. So that means you can walk on the branches from California and be in Canada without ever having to come down that tree. That's how big these trees were. And you can see that clear as day if you could just understand that those are tree stumps, not mountains. It's easy to see. Man, look. That's wild, y'all. It, it's kind of like the movie Avatar, right? You know, they always put the truth in movies. Avatar people were almost giants. They just made them blue. But if you look at all the features of everyone in Avatar, I mean, come on now. We know what kind of people those were. And, you know, they got, even in a new one, they got those type of people that they can swim underwater. But the point is, they had giant trees. People used to live in these trees. They were sacred. We probably had giant trees back in the day that were also sacred. Where all the wood went, what they cut it down for, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the firmament. Maybe it has something to do with the floods. I really don't know. Maybe they, you know, whoever flooded us, right? Whoever decided they wanted to destroy all the life that was on this this earth. 
Maybe they decided to cut the trees down so that people could not run from the floods, so that they couldn't hide from the floods. They couldn't get high enough. I don't know. That's just one theory that's out there. You want to know what happens when you go down the conspiracy theory rabbit holes? You find out some stuff that's really grieving. They've had free electricity for over a hundred years and haven't told people because they've suppressed it. They've, the government has literally captured the patents so that other people can't reproduce it. <laughs> it's, it's that bad. Once you learn the political corruption, you start going, well, what else? It never ends. Like if you knew that there's medicine that doesn't have side effects that can actually heal you, you would no longer be a customer. If you knew that there's free electricity, you would no longer be a customer. If you knew that certain foods are poisoning you and causing you to get on the hamster wheel of needing medication that doesn't actually heal you, it that you would no longer be a customer. Everything is about sucking stuff out of you. You know the movie The Matrix where everybody's hooked up to the thing, bro? Like, I'm not trying to be crazy. I'm not trying to be crazy, bro, but like, it, it's kind of like that. Like, the more I look, it's everywhere, bro. Once you start to see the fence around you everywhere that they've built so that you can only go so far, you start to realize that it truly is a prison planet. It really is, and they're attempting to push it even further. That's why there's a war on information. They, they don't want the free exchange of ideas because that threatens their stranglehold on your dependence on them. Anyway, have a great conspiracy Friday or whatever today is. <clears throat> And that fence he's talking about, getting smaller and smaller. They did it before. They'll do it again and again wow. and again until you say no. Look, everyone got a mask on, but the people telling you to put a mask on, just saying. Can't believe these people, y'all. They are lied to your face. I'm gonna explain. So, you see this pyramid, right? Back in the 80s in Russia, they had shot down some kind of UFO and a pyramid just like this appeared over a town in Russia. It was right, it was wiped from the news articles and stuff. But this is what I mean by Vamanas, flying airships. This is also another function of some of the pyramids. This is what I'm talking about. You can say, you know, CGI representation, whatever. But portals right here, bow, with the pyramid that used to fly, aka Vermanus, like I was showing y'all. Bye. That Vermanus, I don't know that sound familiar, but I, I know in the, uh, who is it, the the Hindu religion? I think it's the Hindu religion. They, uh, they have these flying pyramids as well that could travel through mountains and yeah, man, I think pyramids serve a much bigger function than than what we think. Have, has anyone even ever seen like a pyramid magnet and how that works? Look up pyramid magnets when you guys get a chance. Now, you know, this is just a representation so you can see what some of them temples do and what some of them pyramids do. Yeah, and look where it's at, on the, above water. What? What? Aren't we in water? What? What? Y'all gonna be seeing something real soon. Y'all gonna be seeing stuff like this too. Watch. Yeah, I believe it. You're probably gonna see something like that here soon, y'all. You need to understand how the brain works. You have two hemispheres of the brain. The eyes are a part of the brain. The right hemisphere produces a holistic perception of reality. If you are in a woodland area, the right hemisphere is seeing the whole woods as one unified entity. The left hemisphere is breaking down the perception created by the right hemisphere. It breaks it down into individual trees, for example. This is necessary so that we can break down things and manipulate them. The right hemisphere sees humanity as one unified consciousness. The left hemisphere sees everyone as individual egos. The left hemisphere could be the place of the ego. The right hemisphere is the place of the so-called higher self, unified perception. School and work requires you to be stuck in the left hemisphere because you are thinking logically. You are not thinking creativity or uh, critically. Cast the net onto the right-hand side of the boat and you will find fish. This is John 21, 6 in the Bible. This is referring to casting your perception into the right hemisphere of the brain and you will find your higher self, a unified picture of reality.
because we are all one and we all come from the one me and you are the same consciousness in a different body you don't want you seeing the connections between all things the connection between your inner self and your external world this book will literally show you how everything is connected and how you are a divine spiritual being the link is in the bio all right so i'm helping my middle schooler out with her homework at home i want you guys to hear this video lesson that they're subliminally just slipping in for, for our kids to watch, to have them, to make them accept this, like, as if it's normal. This why you really got to watch and monitor what your children watch. It, it, watch what they watch. I know that sounds crazy, but you have to. Scientists called molecular biologists often study organelles in a cell, as well as the proteins and DNA that make them work. Today, some molecular biologists are working on growing meat directly from animal cells. Since there are more than 7 billion people on Earth, each year we raise and kill over 300 million cows to feed meat to the population. What if we grew meat from cells instead of raising a whole cow? That's exactly what scientists are working on, figuring out how to grow cow muscle cells to look and taste like regular hamburger meat without any difference in price. These are just two. Did you guys see how they slipped in there that it's bad that we kill so many cows and made them feel guilty for so SZA announced her partnership with MasterCard the other day, and that's great. I'm happy for her. But what I want to talk about is the video. Did y'all catch the video? There were so many gems in that video. I just want to discuss it. I'm going to play a little snippet of it for y'all. I can't play the whole video, and I'm not going to play the sound. I might have to do some things to it so that my video won't be taken down. But we need to look at it real quick, and then let's discuss. I love the slogan for this because it's we're a force of nature when we're together. And I completely agree with that. But right here we can see SZA lay her shirt out. Kind of like you would do when you're planting seeds. And you can see the seeds. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to pause this right here. This is an ad for a MasterCard. A credit card. Debit card. Whichever one. A card. Money. And they go into nature and saying nature and people used to be one. What the... Does that got to do with the dang debit card or MasterCard? Are growing and they're growing into those branches. And as it pans out, you can see the two suns kind of like their logo. Okay, this is my take on it. So when she put her shirt down and she kind of spread it out and you can see the green branch looking things spreading out, right? To me, that's the Kundalini spreading or rising, right? It's, it rolls up to the tree. You can see the, the bigger tree, right? So the tree is significant of the tree of life. And in different cultures, it means different things. But you'll hear things like um, the tree of immortality, the tree of knowledge, the tree of eternal life. There's so many different meanings to it. But in all reality, this is the tree that connects us to our higher selves, our higher consciousness. And I'm saying tree, but I should be saying trees because there were about 200 or maybe even a little bit more than 200 trees that were cut down all over this realm not even the world all over this realm and um we can see evidence of those trees when we look at some of these mountains mm -hmm. and i know you guys probably have seen pictures of it i'll put some right below and they look exactly like big 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 ass tree stumps and that's exactly what they are you know they showed us this in avatar as well Yeah, we thinking the same. Who is it that The spirit tree. So the branches were spreading, a.k.a. the kundalini was rising up the spine, up the tree, up the tree of life. And then once it pans out, you can see it looks like two different suns. In the one sun, it looks red, and then it turns like darker, like a black sun. Because remember, we got the black sun come, that came back into our atmosphere. Nibiru, right? We talked about all of this, y'all. It's just coming full circle. And it's so funny because MasterCard been knowing the truth. That's why they had them two sun logos this whole time. The video, the song choice, because the song is called Saturn. 
the lyrics, everything. It just all comes together and it makes sense when you really start to look at everything. So shout out to SZA. I love the breakdown. I love the video. I love the concept of everything. And I see the vision. I completely see it. So this for all them folks that been in the comments talking about ain't no two sons. I ain't seen it with my own eyes. Well, you ain't got to. Everybody else done seen it. Even MasterCard been knowing it. Get with it, y'all. Now we rise. I love y'all. Listen, man. My take on it is this, right? The tree of life that we know, or <clears throat> this my take on it. That tree of life, the kundalini energy, it's all owned, it's all run, it's all operated by the almighty dollar. It all comes down to these financial institutions. They control everything, and we live and worship money nowadays, right? I don't care who, if it was SZA or whoever it was. SZA did not put that out herself, you know? They told her to put that out. They allowed her to put that commercial out. It's MasterCard's commercial, not SZA's commercial. The tree of life, our life, is run by the dollar. That's my take on it. Y'all know conspiracy theories or anything, but check this out. So I saw this video. Did you see they just uh, did some weird law with house insurance in California? Yeah, they removed house insurance out there. State Farm is pulling out of that market. I don't feel like some, some massive is going to happen. And not even two minutes later, this text message pops up. Pause to read. Y'all thought that shit was cap, right? Oh, Peep nice. this. Now, y'all tell me, why is all of these major companies, bro? Yo. We talking about the pushers and movers of the, you feel me? Of the shits. Why are they leaving? Bro. All Everyone of the major leaving, stores huh? in San Fran is closing down, bro. Yo, like, the Disney store, bro? Like, the Disney store's leaving? Yo, I really want y'all to think about this shit, bro. This is not... This is not normal. It's time for us to really pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on around you and your surroundings and shit. And wait up! Yo, I've been wanting to go out to the West Coast. I might not go. <laughs> I might take my time on that trip. I don't know what's about to happen out there. really don't own nothing in this life. This is a rented life. You hear me? Rent it. What you got in your pocket right now is what you own. You go mm -hmm. to the morgue, they'll put that in a property bag and get that to your family. <laughs> that means the money in the bank is a number on a piece of paper. When the bank is closed, we even. That's real. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody better than nobody on this earth. You can't take it with you. All I can buy is cars and shoes, a bigger house, and we I want some more ass kissers. This is what rich do. This is what money is. Is. If you really break it down, there's nothing you can really do with it. You're just stacking it up to give it to somebody. Because if yeah. something happened to you, you're not taking it with you. So once I start thinking like that, the desire for me to chase in this business and compete <clears throat> went away. I got to have an art with it, man. You hey, that's for real. You got to have an art farm with this, man. Stop worshiping the dollar. I'm going to have to read this. Me because Disney just bought the rights to the Holy Bible. Can somebody fact check this for me? So y'all could stop praising the white man's Bible. Come pray to Allah. The mosque isn't just church. But you'll learn about our black skin and black history. They've tried to cover up and talk about actual scientists 
and civil rights activist kids with Secret Service. Hmm. The Bible is just crazy in itself, y'all. The Bible has been like rewritten so many times, translated from so many different languages. I don't even know what the first language was. Who translated that? I'm gonna try to get you to see, see what I'm saying. It might be a little harder for you to envision, but let's talk about it. So the volcanoes are the ashes from the machines that were used to cut our trees down. Yo, <clears throat> before he gets into this, I haven't seen this video, y'all, but I had this thought, right? Because there's these other videos that I've posted on my channel of trees burning up from the inside. And I was just like, this is weird. How is a tree burning up from the inside? So then I had this thought about trees and mountains being one of the same. And what if volcanoes are just basically like one of those trees that are starting to burn up from the inside? He talking about some machines and stuff, though, so I don't know. We're going to get into it. Remember I asked, remember I said, hey, think about these trees, who cut them down and what they used to cut them down. I know what they used to cut them down, but I got to walk y'all through this shit. You know what I'm saying? They use these big ass machines to cut our trees down. So if you know anything about a machine, you ever worked on an assembly line, most machines that are used to like, um, how can I say it? Most machines where they might run like paper through, there's some, um, okay, imagine the little machines, the printers where you need to destroy paper, right? You take the paper and you put it through the shredder, right? It's called a paper shredder. And it, it lets out all the residue from what you shredded, right? And then all that residue is left and it goes into the trash can, okay? Now imagine a machine coming through cutting down all these trees so when they cut down these trees try to imagine like a giant bulldozer all the machines they got now imagine them same machines but much much bigger so if you can imagine a giant bulldozer and how it works a lot of these machines like that like the paper shredder is a good example imagine this machine coming knocking this tree down but as it's cutting through this tree, it's taking in residue from the tree as well, right? So all this residue that's picking up from the tree, like a vacuum cleaner, while it's cutting the tree down, all this residue builds up into the back of the machine. And then what happens is once it's through cutting down that tree, all that residue that was built up, it dumps it out right behind it. So majority of volcanoes is the residue from these trees that was cut down as they ran or ran through these machines. Because they took the trees and they used it for resources. They ran it through a machine, almost like a paper shredder, and they drained it certain resources out of it. And these resources that they drained out of our trees, they took back to other planets. Okay? And what was left was the residue that was left at the out or at the back of the truck, right? Like, shh, like the shredder. All that residue formed a hill. So most volcan most volcanoes is in some sort of some sort of a hill. Now, because the machinery that was used, right, used the energy source, notice what happens with a volcano. It's always a buildup of what they say, lava, energy that's already down there that didn't build up and spills up and spills over. Right, because it's all the chemicals that was used from these machines. So when the ashes and shit was dumped, everything dumped down, a lot of the chemicals stayed in the soil. But because the earth is alive and it was rising regardless, it starts to build up, bubble up. And what happened is you'll see all the heat from all these minerals that was in the machine and the trees that was cut down. You'll see all that boil out and spill out. And when it come out, notice how it comes out. Because it's still alive. It's still alive. Remember, it was, it was volcanoes ain't number trees that was cut down like the ashes. You get what I'm saying? So that's why when they most volcanoes erupt, boom. What they do, they be on a mission. It be like it's alive. It be they the the, the 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 volcanic eruption knows exactly what it wants to hit. You feel me? Anybody know anything about volcanoes and the way they erupt and the way they work? They unpredictable. That's why they unpredictable because it's a spiritual source behind it. They cut down trees. You know what I'm saying? So most of your volcanoes is ashes that are left over from trees that were cut down. Now all the trees they cut down didn't leave ashes like that, but some did. 
Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's a good explanation, but I feel like there might be some more explanations. So if any of y'all got any explanations out there as to how these trees got cut down, what they used, what volcanoes are, let me know in the comment section. So somebody sent me this video of this unidentified object that they spotted in the sky. A black circle just floating Crazy. in the middle of the sky. And by the way, this is not the first time this strange mm -mm. phenomenon has been spotted. And now it's colors and shit behind the black circle. Now this is definitely some unidentified object shit that's going on right now. It's just a black circle in the middle of the sky. What the and this heck, could yeah. be multiple things. This could be a portal. This could be a cloaked UFO. One thing that it's not is normal. Why is Straight it just up. a black circle that's just floating in the middle of the sky? Like literally, it's been hundreds of sightings of this same black ring just up here in the middle of the sky. We living in some strange times. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these mysterious black rings appearing in the sky in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if y'all want that exclusive content. Hit that Gmail if y'all trying to do business. What? What do y'all think that black circle is? You know, do you think that's a portal? <clears throat> portal. Do you guys think that's a portal? Do you think it's something else? Do you think it's a cloaked UFO? Do you think it's some type of ring of smoke? I don't know what it is. I've never seen one in person, but all these videos are crazy that keep popping up, y'all. But yeah, these are some of the most creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.